Okay, so here we go with three rounds of amateur boxing for you. We've got Tony Valdez, who you're looking at there with the red gloves. He's from Española, New Mexico, but he's fighting for just for kids out of Santa Fe. He's a powerhouse. He's a guy that people are talking about as a very strong fighter that could, you know, has, has the potential to become a good professional someday. Just a kid right now working in the amateurs, but he's been very impressive. His opponent, Edward Crispy, I, I've never seen him box. I don't know what, much about him. We're going to find out now as he takes on Tony Valdez. You're watching the 8-Count Boxing Hour, and here they go. And Chris B lands a right hand, but Valdez comes out on the attack, and that is his reputation, a pure aggression. And look at him go with both hands. Edward Chris B with the height and reach advantage, trying to counter those, the attack of uh, very strong Tony Valdez here in round one. These are 112 pounders, 15 year olds. Ed Crispy from Las Vegas, New Mexico Boxing Club, club uh, with the blue gloves. And uh, Tony Valdez from Fighting for Santa Fe's just JFK Boxing. And there you see him land some shots to the head. And a little warning goes for, I'm not sure what, <laughs> from the referee. Um, good action here in this opening round. These guys are coming out smoking. There's a right hand from Crispy and our answer back from Tony Valdez. this one. I'm kind of surprised. Neither guy from Albuquerque. And look at Valdez now go to work as he's landing with both hands to the head of Chris B. And he's got Chris B covering up and backing into the corner. And that's going to be a standing eight count scored against Ed Chris B from Las Vegas. So Tony Valdez scores an eight count here in this opening round with that non-stop attack we were telling you about. That's his reputation. And now blood from the nose of Edward Chris B. The referee's going to have uh, his corner man, Charlie Gallegos, take a look at it and kind of clean him up here a little bit and allow it to continue, I believe. Yeah, yeah ref's going to let it go. So a uh, good opening attack from Tony Valdez. He's got a lot of support here, a lot of people coming down from Santa Fe. And that ends the first round. Round two of this 112 pound encounter. Tony Valdez with the red gloves. Coming out just as advertised, very strong. And look at him go again. With that Jack Dempsey attacking style. Tony Valdez, a real crowd pleaser. But look at Ed Chris, Chris B fight back. The taller, rangier Edward Chris B has not been able to use that advantage as uh, Tony Valdez has just not left any space. And now Chris B lands with some shots to Valdez. And let's see, gonna be a, gonna need an adjustment of the headgear here. Boy, that shot twisted uh, Valdez's headgear around. <laughs> a good shot landed by Edward Chris B. Finally getting on the scoreboard here against Valdez. Something to stop the attack of Tony Valdez, the guy is just dynamite. Here he goes, look at him go on the attack again. He just loads up and moves forward. He just reloads and comes at you swinging. And you can see that Edward Crispy should probably be sticking that jab out, but I think he's a little hesitant about getting countered as uh, Valdez moves in on him. Crispy with blood coming from his nose, and they haven't been able to stop that. The crowd is just really into this one. And again, you see Tony Valdez attacking Chris B, doing all he can to answer back, but he's being pushed back against the ropes. Again, Tony Valdez in the posture of the man on the attack, and that ends the second round. Uh, this one has been a war. Third and final round of what has been one heck of an amateur bout here. These 15-year-olds really giving it, giving the fans all they can, they can ask for. As you see, Tony Valdez go right into attack mode. 
And Ed Crispy lands a right hand, but that does not even phase Valdez, who continues to attack. And finally, Valdez steps back a little bit, leaving some space for Crispy. And you'd think Crispy would try to work with that long jab, but he's he has not been doing that. He's been kind of waiting, standing back and looking to counter as Valdez steps in on the attack. And now Tony Valdez moves forward and throws a couple of little shots here. Things are slowing down. The pace definitely slowing down. These two guys have put a, a high work rate into those first two rounds. And there's a right hand from Valdez. It just kind of has Crispy stumbling back. You're watching the eight count boxing hour here on Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque. And man, this is a good one. Tony Valdez, a guy who everybody's talking about. He's been successful as an amateur, but they're really talking about him as a professional someday. But, and you can see why. Look at the strength, the strong style that he has. Continues to move forward, and he lands a shot to the, and there's blood everywhere. And I don't know, uh, Edward Crispy, the referee's trying to stop the bleeding, and that's gonna do it. I think the referee just, that's gonna be all. Too much damage done to uh, Edward Crispy and your winner. Referee stops the contest in, in the third round. Tony Valdez.